Okay, I'm really excited about today's episode. It's a new kind of episode. It's the first in a series where I'm sitting down with mini coaching sessions with real small business owners like you, where we look at their website with me giving actionable advice and tips for improvement every step of the way. So while we're focusing only on one website, the issues we found and the improvements I suggest are kind of universal and are really likely to apply to your situation and your own website. We cover a lot of ground in today's first video. We talk about simplifying your message so that your customers can understand it, what to do if you've picked the wrong images, and how to make your testimonials really stand out. So stick around. If you wanna transform your website into a customer or lead generation machine, I'll show you all my best tips, tactics, and secrets to get there fast. Let's dive in. All right, we've got David Lashley today from VeloFit. Is that how you say it, VeloFit? Yeah, VeloFit, that's it. We're in All Tarawa, right. in New Zealand. Sounds good. So why don't you go ahead and start by just letting people know, let me know, what exactly you do. All right, so I'm an indoor cycling gym here in Tauranga in New Zealand. Um, it's this, this gym is the only one of its kind, um, as in that it's um, purely dedicated towards uh, improving cycling and people who want to get their get their fitness using bikes and and all that sort of thing. Okay, great. So, what can I help you with today? What's the major problem you'd like uh, the website to solve for you? Right. So, obviously, I'd love for this website to provide some information and some context to my clients um, to attract them to either fill in the form or get in touch and um, get them in for group fitness. Um, activities. Um, at the moment, I'm finding that the website's just a shade slow, so I'd like to speed it up if, if possible okay. um, and okay. tune up the SEO side of things. So I've had a good crack at doing this myself, but I think I need a little bit of help. Um, it's the second generation of the website. The first one was humongous, loads of technical information, way overloading you know, people when they visit, it's like, you know, going into the little technicalities of how the bikes work and what they measure and how they do it and all that. And I think it was overloading people. So yeah. the, this website cut back quite a lot. It's got a solid offer right up front and um, it's it's way lighter on the detail. Okay, cool. So are you already getting traffic to your site then? Yep, getting traffic. Okay, and and you're so that it's not converting very well, though. Is that what you're saying, or do you, or it, or you like it to convert even more? It's not converting great. Um, I'm getting the odd inquiry here and there. Um, the majority of all of my contact is actually coming through Facebook, uh, but I want I want that to change, and I want a little bit more information, or not information, but I want more people to come through the website and have seen what we do and how we do it, and be interested in that. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go ahead and just dive in, if we may, to the website and we can kind of take a look and see what might be tripping you up and what we can improve. Sound good? Sounds awesome. Thanks. All right, cool. So right off the top. So by the way, really nice job with this. It, the site looks nice. I like the images. I like the overall feel of it. It's nice and kind of airy and and clean. So that's, that's the good stuff. Um, one thing I would say here in this main hero area, um, which is just the top image, uh, you've got about, you've got four different competing messages right there. You were over explaining things before. I think this might be kind of a, a hold off, hold back from that. So basically okay. what we want here instead of, you know, this line and then this line, this line, this line is one great headline, which should okay. be, it should answer two questions. What do you do and how does that make your client's life better? Okay. Okay. That's it. So we don't need to know, you know, Tar Taranga, is that how you say it? That's your town? Taranga. Yep. Taranga. Okay. Only dedicated indoor cycling gym. Like that can come later. You know, that's not the main benefit, you know, so keep it benefit driven. And then what you do have that's good is you've got the, the call to action button here, which is the third part of a good hero section. So it, what do you do? Why does it matter? And what do you do to, to take the next step? So that, that part you got. Um, cool. The other thing I'm slightly confused by, and I, I get the idea, but you might be confusing people with this big image of someone cycling outside, yep. which is not what you do. So 
I get it. You're basically trying to say that you provide a similar experience because Peloton is kind of, um, you're looking at a screen. Is that right? Yeah. So it's all video based style training. Okay. So maybe that headline is something like the closest thing you can get to cycling outside or something like that. Um, maybe even selling the benefit of why this is even better than cycling outside. Yeah. You know, think about the ways you can sell that. So, and then going down here, let's say we've got, um, on and off the bike fitness sessions. So right off the bat, I think that this needs to be, this is kind of really prime real estate right here. And I think, I don't know that people are really going to be reading too much of this. Um, if it's an indoor cycling gym, this is kind of like, it almost looks like it's like just the facts, right? You really need yep. to sell the, the sizzle here. So present the problem. What's the problem you solve for your, your customers? So the, yeah, the main, the main problem is that they're, um, they're not able to, to get the gains that they want out on the road, um, mm -hmm. due to traffic and, and, you know, coffee shops <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> stop along the way while they, while they're cycling. Yeah. Um, and, and safety more than anything, um, which was one of the main reasons that this place came into existence um, was so that people would remain safe while, while cycling. Yeah. So talk about that. You know, what I like to do generally in a section like this is right after the hero image, I like to present the problem, you know, which they are already feeling, but you need to, to make them realize they have that problem by calling it out. And then some kind of a statement saying like, we understand that. Like we've, we've all been through that. We've been through the, the part of life where we haven't really gotten the gains we want in health wise. And then you try to ride your bike outside and it's a safety issue. It's raining. We can help you. We have, we've got the solution, but you're going to say that very succinctly and very quickly and to yeah. like whatever this, this paragraph right here, it's already pretty short. What you should do is this should be maybe cut up into two paragraphs, the same length just broken up a little bit more. And okay, so going down here. Um, okay, so another picture of people biking outside, which again is probably adding to that confusion factor. So it says membership options. I would expect to see the membership options right here. What I would expect to see probably are maybe three different options. Mm -hmm. Do you have, you've got different tiers. Is that what you're referring to here? Yeah, so so we've got the casual, we've got the concession, and then we've got the um, monthly. You click find out more, you go to that next that next level, which um, shows what those are and what they include. Okay, you should just put them right here though, because you know okay. what, what the way I like to look at a homepage is, um, you have other pages for those really curious people who want to kind of go off on their own a little bit. Go off mm -hmm. trail, no pun intended, but like um, what you want to do on the homepage is keep everything as kind of in line as possible. What you want is to tell that story start to finish where you're controlling the narrative from top to bottom. Here's okay. all the information you need right when you need it. Not here's something, go click to find more about that or click to find more about that. No, you know, guide them down that path, yep. including okay. the membership options with pricing. I think would be really good here. Yeah, what it, this is like an Instagram feed? Yeah, that's the one, yep. I, I think you don't need it, and I think it's just kind of taking people off of that path. Okay, bit of fluff. You know? Yeah, it's a little fluff. Um, it, and it's cool to show personality and show that you're out in the world and stuff, but um, not here, not this soon, because you haven't given people the benefits yet. You haven't given people kind of the meat and potatoes of what they have access to, meaning okay. the features. So in a case of a gym, I really think features actually are important. You know, in marketing, we always say, don't sell the features, sell the benefits. Sure, and you need to sell the benefits. But then after that, people are wondering, what are the facilities? What, yep. what do you have? Do you have locker rooms? Do you have, how many bikes do you have? Do you have personal training, group classes, all that stuff? You need to list all that stuff way before you ever get to anything like this. Make sense? Okay. okay, so now you've got a, a few testimonials, which are cool. Um, yep. I, I don't know who this one, I don't know if this is Dave or Branny, though. So yeah, do you want to, yeah, okay, it's Dave. Of course it's Dave. But, of course um, it's Dave. Yeah, <laughs> we, know, we all know Dave. 
But um, Absolutely. You wanna, everyone has a type. <laughs> yeah. So I think, first of all, you need to say testimonials because otherwise people are kind of guessing and it's, there's no quotes around these. So testimonials are huge, right? Especially yeah, yeah, for, sure. yeah. So you really need to make a big deal about them and you need to call them out testimonials or what our clients are saying, make it a big deal and then make it known that each of these is a testimonial with a photo of the person with it. Um, maybe a before and after photo. If you have those, those always yep. work great, but you won't always have those. Um, I don't always get those. Yeah. So, and then we've got, oh, these are more, these are more testimonials. Cool. So I think these are great, but yeah, you just need to make them a little more um, succinct. Um, I would maybe put them in a grid of some kind because right now it's a little disconnected. I don't know that we're still in testimonial territory here. So get started with VeloFit. I love this. I love the look of this font and the black on white. I love yep. it. Talk to me about what people's next step is. You want them to set up a membership or just to set up, set up an initial appointment to come and see, um, what we do, um, okay. and, and the environment in which we do it. Okay. So say that set up an appointment, get yep, started. So, so if I'm here, so, yep. So in I'm the saying, next line it says, yeah, schedule your initial consultation, um, or ask a question. Yeah. So, uh, Be specific because people don't know what get started means because they're, okay. they're, they think get started means filling out a form. Then are, are you going to call? It's like when you give a girl your number and she's sitting around the next day, like, is he going to call me? Like, well, I don't know what's happening here. So you just got to make it really clear. This is an appointment scheduling. And if you're scheduling an appointment, do you need to ask for all this stuff? First name, last name, subject yeah like subject line you know you're asking them for a whole lot of stuff here when if, if all you're going to do is call them first name and phone number okay cool you know but what i would recommend you do is take it a step further i've i don't know if you've seen my videos where i talk about online scheduling that would be a great tool for you like calendly how you um set this appointment up with me was through calendly would you be open to something like that to where people can pick a time that works and then they know they're going to get a call at that time. Yeah, absolutely. So I've got um, Acuity scheduling, scheduling um, attached to um, my my gym stuff. Okay. So that's where all of the booking links and stuff go is into into Acuity. Okay, cool. But I I think the point is that people can choose a time that works for them because people never like uh, ambiguity and they don't like just giving your their information, wondering when you're going to call, okay. you know, cause they, you may, they may give you the number and then they're at dinner or they're at the store in the checkout line when you call. So, um, I'm a big fan of just, they schedule an appointment and then they're much more likely to give you that information at that point too, just to, because they know what to expect. So yep. I would recommend that acuity probably has that functionality built in, right? Yeah. You know? Okay, cool. Do you have any other, we've got a few more minutes here. If you have any, anything else you'd like to address? Um, the SEO type stuff. Um, yeah. obviously there's, there's best practices, um, you know, titles too short, titles too long, uh, keyword stuffing, all that sort of stuff, obviously being really, um, delicate and, and not overdoing it. Um, Obviously, right up the top there, it says VeloFit Indoor Cycling Gym, and then it sort of runs on a little. Mm -hmm. um, what are your thoughts on how that looks on the face of it? It looks fine right here, like if that's your question. But here's the thing. What are your keyword terms that you're trying to be found for? Do you know? Have you done that research? Yeah. So Indoor Cycling Gym or Spin Class Taronga are generally how we're found. Okay. And people are typing in Indoor Cycling Gym. In those words, sometimes. That, okay. But more often, more often when I ask somebody how they found the website, it was spin class terror. See that that's the thing you got to do that keyword research to find. I go through this with clients all the time that think because they you know your business really well, right? You know what it's called, but customers don't always know what they should be typing in. They're just going to type in spin classes or Peloton yep. classes or whatever. So you got to meet them where they are. And you have to be the one to um, 
say, okay, if that's what people are typing in, that's what we need to kind of put onto the site. That's what we need to put in our title tags. Um, not only for SEO, but for um, ease of use for the customer. They may not be familiar with the term indoor cycling gym. So if you can use the words they're using, you're going to get a lot more favor with them. Does that make okay. sense? It does. Yep. Yeah. So I would do that keyword research, figure out, because I would, I would bet anything that hardly anyone's typing in indoor cycling gym, especially in your city. I don't know. Is it a big city or a small town or? No, it's by, by, by probably US standards, it's tiny. Uh, I think 300,000 yeah. people. So you type it, you, you already, you have a keyword that very few people are typing in and then you add the, the small town name to it with a small town population. Now you're down to probably two people a month typing that in. So, um, yeah. Go with what people are, are actually searching for. Okay, cool. Sound good? Sounds awesome. Thanks so much. All right, cool. Anything else before we, we wrap up? No, that's um, that's really about it. Um, all right. I've got to say, huge um, admirer of all your stuff. And oh, thank you. Yeah, that's very, very cool. Really enjoy it. I appreciate it. that, David. Thanks so much. And thanks for coming on the show with us today. No, you're very welcome. Cheers, Wes. Thanks very much. All right. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and click on the circle icon right down here to subscribe. And if you're interested in getting my eyeballs on your website, I do offer a limited number of private kickstart calls where we can go over your site, talk about any problems you're having, and you can get that by clicking right up here. All right, guys, I'm Wes McDowell for The Deep End, and I'll see you in our next video.